they saw on the battlefield is right down here. They hauled the wagons down here and this is what they found. Now the first thing they knew was that originally this was the end of the Union line that had been advanced. The Confederates came down off the hillside and captured this. The Confederate sharpshooters built a wall in between these boulders to protect them as they shot at Union officers up on Little Round Top. Guys, if you ever get a chance to come back in the summer, all those trees up there at the top of that hill are green and it performs quite a to individuals in bright shirts. Like, to look at them. You can see people up there, can't you? 600 yards away. Uh, so they realized what this was. This was a sharpshooter's nest. Except there was a problem. They didn't have a sharpshooter. There was rifle. Guys, these people are in business to make money. They need to sell these photos. And this is a nice photo of a wall here, but it really doesn't tell a story, even though the photographers knew what it was. What they needed was a sharpshooter's rifle. Then people would know what this was and they'd buy the photo. They're still buying it today. They found that body about 40 yards behind it. Put him in a blanket, and they laid him out right here. You can see his head is right below the end of the crevice, right here. He's laid out right here, and his rifle right over there, right? How do they know that this stage of this photo was there? Well, that marker right there tells the story, because in the lower right-hand corner is another photo of the same body. A photograph taken of the same body in its original position down the hill that what had happened, that they had taken the, the same body and moved it up here to stage a cool photo. So does that answer everybody's questions? Yeah. Same rifle. Actually, 